Hello and welcome back to the channel. I just thought I would show how you do a service light reset and a tyre pressure monitoring system reset on a 2016 Suzuki Ignis. So first of all, we'll start it up and I'll show you the message. There we go, oil change soon and up there you've got the little oil with the spanner. I'm showing everybody these videos because just to prove that you don't always need to have all the latest uh, software There is a lot of cars you do need a computer which there's no point in the showing But this is something everybody can do themselves So you, you need the little control over here you just need to press and hold the info button For a quick few seconds about five seconds There we go then it says you just scroll it up and down with the, with the switch next to it So you go down all the way at the bottom there to oil change and then you press I believe it'll be the trip button no it'll be the info button there we go press info is a like, class info is okay down and then info again keep it held in there it says successful so that's the reset complete we'll turn the car off Switch it back on, there we go, no oil spanner light and no yellow warning on the display. I just like to show people these because uh, it's a simple process to do. I mean, I have to make a disclaimer, you know, if you know your car needs a service uh, or you're going to sell the car, it's a bit of a not nice move to make, just, you know, resetting the light and saying it's been serviced. So just remember that when you come to um, do the reset, make sure you're actually doing an oil change or it has been done. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.